ladies and gentlemen, you are not going to believe this. Those of you who may have written on your credit report a bankruptcy, get it removed now. All you got to do is download this one document. What document? This one document. What document? This one document. PACER does not report to the credit bureaus. What? PACER. PACER. The public access to court electronic records. PACER. Pay attention. March 20th, 2024. Give you guys a little rundown so that you get it. On behalf of our clients, they don't even know this. We've been contacting PACER because many of them have been having things reported on PACER, such as previous addresses, previous names, aliases, and all of that stuff on. Remove that junk. Well, guess what, y'all? Pay attention. Public access to court electronic records. PACER is an electronic public access service of the federal courts for the United States that allows users to obtain case and docket information from federal appellate courts, federal district court, federal bankruptcy courts, through the internet. Hold on, PACER is not affiliated with LexisNexis, of course not. PACER does not contact consumer reporting or credit reporting agencies. PACER simply provides access to federal court records. Ladies and gentlemen, this is from PACER. Pay attention. PACER does not contact consumer reporting agencies. So how are they getting bankruptcy information? How are they getting anything about court settlements? They are not. Because, hold on, just so that y'all see where we're going, because some of y'all don't be seeing. Hold on, we're going to pause y'all for just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, just so that you know, bankruptcy courts do not provide information to credit bureaus. The credit bureaus collect information regarding bankruptcy cases from bankruptcy court public records. No, they cannot. Pay attention. I need all of you to understand this. In order for the record to be accurate, it must be an accurate record from the court. That means certified. Just downloading something from the Internet is not evidence of anything, and the law requires that information given to the reporting bureaus be accurate. Hold on, give me one more second so we can prove this and then we go on. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some chastisement to do. Give it a second. Wake up. I'm told that PACER reports to the credit reporting agencies things such as bankruptcies, comma, how is this legal? Question mark. PACER, which stands for Public Access to Court Electronic Records, is a system used by the federal courts to make court records available to the public. When it comes to bankruptcy filings, the information is indeed publicly available through PACER. As for the legality of reporting bankruptcies to credit reporting agencies, it is legal and governed by the Fair Credit Reporting Act, FCRA, in the United States. Bankruptcies are considered public records, and credit reporting agencies are allowed to collect and report this information as part of an individual's credit history. Under the FCRA, consumers have certain... Now you are a liar. Comma. The information on PACER is not official information of the courts. Comma. The documents are neither certified, nor are they verified exclamation mark. For instance, comma, in order to be reported to the credit reporting agencies, comma, they would need to associate the social security number with the reporting information, comma, social security numbers are not publicly available under any circumstances, as that is private information, exclamation mark, which means that it's a violation of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the FCRA, to report inaccurate information period the fcra comma the fair credit reporting act
as well as the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act, requires the information to be accurate, comma, without verifying the Social Security number, comma, the information is neither accurate nor verified as required by the acts and or the intentions of the United States Congress. Comma, so explain yourself why you lied. Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, the thing is, many attorneys get the information from PACER and they report it to the credit reporting agencies, but they can't do that. You see, even though there's a bankruptcy filed, there is no association with a social security number. That's how you report to the credit reporting agencies is through the social security number. And that's how creditors report to the credit reporting agencies. But creditors are not allowed to report bankruptcies. Why? Because they are not the court. It's not their record. And the bankruptcy is not part of their debt collection per practice or purpose, even though it's, and they claim it's public information. No, it is not public information. The fact that you file a bankruptcy, that is not public information. The case caption may be public information. But your information within the bankruptcy is not public information. That is private information. Your social security number, because guess what? It's for the estate, not for the person. So give it a second. I apologize if my previous response was not really? accurate or clear. You apologizing? To clarify. You gonna Basically clarify? Access to court records, including bankruptcy filings, which are considered public records. Mm -hmm. However, you are correct that the documents available on Pacer are not certified or verified mm -hmm. by the courts. They are electronic copies of the documents filed with the courts. Mm -hmm. Regarding the reporting of bankruptcies to credit reporting agencies, while the bankruptcy information itself may be public. The process of associating this information with an individual's social mm -hmm. security number and reporting it to credit agencies involves additional steps and requirements to ensure accuracy. Mm -hmm. The Fair Credit Reporting Act, FCRA, does indeed mandate that information mm -hmm. reported to credit agencies must be accurate, but it's important to note that credit reporting agencies typically obtain bankruptcy information from reliable sources such as court records or data aggregators. They use various identifying information, including... You idiot and moron. Wake up. Wake up. You ignorant moron. Comma. You claim that these reporting agencies typically obtain bankruptcy information from reliable sources? Question mark. The law doesn't require reliable sources, comma, the law requires verification and validation as well as accuracy, comma, specifically requiring those three parameters, period. Social security numbers are not publicly available, comma, and the records kept by PACER are not certified, nor are they abstract from the court, as is required for the record to be official, exclamation mark. The records must contain the original seal of the court to have the full faith and credit, i.e. to be accurate as well as to be valid as well as to be verified, comma, how dare you sit up here and continue to try to lie to try to still make yourself out to be correct when you know that you are wrong. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. I apologize if my response was not satisfactory. Oh. You are correct in emphasizing the importance really? of verification, validation, and accuracy in the reporting process. Really? Particularly regarding sensitive information such as social security mm -hmm. numbers and bankruptcy records. You better believe While it. While credit reporting agencies strive to obtain information from mm -hmm. reliable they strive. sources, including court records, it's essential for individuals to ensure the accuracy of their credit reports and to dispute any inaccuracies they may find. To dispute it, huh? The FCRA provides consumers with rights and mechanisms to address discrepancies in their credit reports, including the ability to request investigations and corrections. Again, I apologize for any frustration you, you my keep, previous you response keep again and Hold on, y'all. Wake up.
I need to. I need for you to now produce a letter to the credit reporting agencies, notifying them that any reporting of any aliases and or other information associated with the social security number that is not directly from the creditor, comma, is a violation of my right to privacy as my social security number associated with my account is a private number and only individuals to whom I do direct business with is authorized to use that number, but they are not to make it public, period. My social security number cannot be a part of public records. And if it is, then that means that they are violating the right to privacy by reporting it on my credit report or claiming that they've associated some debt with my name from public data gathering aggregators. Exclamation mark. Produce that letter at this time, incorporating the fact that the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act and the Fair Credit Reporting Act requires the record to be accurate, comma, verified and validated. And without these three parameters included in the gathering of information, comma, the record is invalid and must be removed. And that this is a formal challenge to such record keeping and if it is not removed, we'll be bringing forth a small claims lawsuit against the bond of the Credit Reporting Bureau for their failure to follow the law as written. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm doing here your is name, I just told address, you how city, you state, are to produce your own letter to your the credit reporting address. bureaus, getting all that junk taken off your credit reports. You're going to use the PACER letter, the PACER letter that I showed you earlier. What I'm going to do is we're going to edit this document. This is not yours. This is mine. Okay, y'all, I'm going to upload this for y'all in a second. Okay, we're going to add text. Now, let's, let's do... Hmm, let's do the adding text right here. Give me my typewriter. We're gonna put our typewriter right, 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 right here. Where's my typewriter? Okay, that's what I thought. Give me my typewriter. All right, that's the link. All right, so there you go. Let's do this. Let's see if we go. All right, nope, that's the link. All right, now we're gonna. What are we gonna do? Oh, we gotta add some more text right here. We're gonna add your letter at the bottom. So we're gonna add, where's my document section? I gotta do it this way, y'all. Sorry about that. Classic toolbar. All right, where's my document? Insert empty page. And we're gonna do it after, after current page. Okay. What you mean that, that, that oh, I, I haven't updated this thing. Ah, sorry, y'all. Lord have mercy. I got to update this thing. And I ain't updated it, y'all. I apologize. Ah, life goes on. All right, I'm going to put my typewriter right here. And then what I got to go over back here, chat GPT, I do have to update it. I was supposed to do that last week, but there's been so much going on that I just forgot to update the software. I mean, it is the latest version, uh, but I, I got to update it. So we're going to take the letter. I, I, I don't know what the letter says, y'all. Y'all didn't see me read it, okay? This is just a general, general idea for y'all. Go talk to the general about it, okay? Shaq is waiting on y'all, okay? Shaq, Shaq waiting on y'all. All right. Whew. All right, let's see if we can save this. Save. Yeah, see, that's what it does. It adds that there, and so I don't like that. But we're we going to give it to y'all anyway, okay? We're going to give it to y'all with the demo junk on there so that y'all can see the demo. All right. All right. Now, look, with that being said, that's just the way they do it, y'all. I need to take this. Where's my typewriter? Type B. Is that the typewriter? There you go. I need to take this, and we're going to bring this down. Uh-oh. 
No, we don't actually need to do that. I just need to copy this. Copy and do that that way. And then get off of there. There we go. That's gone. Now, nope, can't do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this right here, I got to go ahead and take care of that demo stamp. So y'all just going to have to forgive me. All right, so there you go. 15 minutes of how to get that junk off your credit report. All those aliases and all of that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, the only way they can report something on your credit report is if they have your social security number. A third party cannot have your social security number. You haven't given authorization for anybody to have your full social security number. Your social security number is a private number. Private. And it's not a number that is given out to just anybody. And anybody who shares that information without your permission, without your authorization, is violating law. They're not allowed to report that to the credit reporting agencies. Credit reporting agencies, pay attention. PACER is 100% on the money when it says PACER does not contact consumer reporting or credit reporting agencies. They didn't say bureaus. Did you see that? Didn't use the word bureau. Those are agencies. Equifax, Experian, Innovus, and TransUnion are agencies. They're private corporations. They are not government bureaus. So they are not credit reporting bureaus. Oh, so glad we got that out there in the open. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going I don't want y'all to have that demo stamp. So y'all just go ahead and download the document. Like I said, y'all, y'all gonna get it. The document gonna be there. And we're gonna let y'all go, okay? We gotta delete some pages, the empty pages. Come on, delete pages, empty. And we're gone. Nope, it didn't delete the empty page. Oh, because it's not considered empty. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, it's not considered empty. So we're just going to delete page number three. And then I'll put both of them up there. Okay. I'm going to put both of them up there. And we're going to do three and say bye-bye. And three is gone. The three is gone. The three is gone away. Take care, everybody. We'll see y'all later. A, PACER does not report to the credit reporting bureaus. So get that junk off your credit report, especially bankruptcies. Gotta go.